Norm Cassie has attended the Kentucky Oaks virtually every year for his entire life. But this Friday, he'll have the opportunity to saddle his very first Kentucky Oaks starter with grade two Fairgrounds Oaks victress, South Lawn. We spoke with Norm about why he believes the best is yet to come for his talented filly. I've been coming to the Oaks and Derby since 1995. That's the first one. Even when I went and moved to Canada and worked for dad up in Woodbine, the only, the only weekend I ever took off was Derby weekend because I didn't want to break that streak. I love the Derby, the Oaks, and the whole weekend leading up to it, and that's why we're here. Early on, we thought she was very talented. As a two-year-old, we thought she was a Breeders' Cup type filly. She kind of always had those qualities. It was obvious that, you know, late in the fall that something was holding her back. Tyler Gaffleone came back. He said that she was having a really a lot of issues with her breathing. We sent her down to the fairgrounds and we performed a myectomy on her, and she's undefeated ever since. You know, the thing that probably impresses me most about how she's different is she doesn't have that early speed she had before. Now she makes a big, long, sustained run, which I think is gonna be very beneficial uh, in the Oaks. She's so kind and professional now that no matter where we are in a race, I'm still gonna feel comfortable that she is gonna run when Ray Lou asked her to run. I think one of the storylines or the narratives that should, shouldn't go unsaid is that Ray Lou gets along with her really well. And it just seems to me that she's better off breaking, trying to get a decent position, but then letting her get into her own rhythm, not forcing things too much. And when she wants to go, you let her go. So Robert Masterson has, uh, you know, he's basically given me everything. Um, Teppen, Teppen was with me from day one. Robert obviously owns her. And uh, she was the filly that kind of gave me the confidence to go out on my own. Robert was the only owner um, at the very beginning that when I went on my own sent me horses and he stuck with me and, and here we are. So I'm, I'm hoping we reward his confidence. But my dad always, when I went on my own, he kept talking about how he couldn't wait till the day where we started running against each other in these marquee races. And here's our first opportunity and uh, it's a very cool opportunity. To me, it means everything. So I'm born and raised here in Louisville. I mean, to me, the Kentucky Oaks is the only, the only race that matters more than to me than the Kentucky Oaks is obviously the Kentucky Derby. Like I said, it's a holiday here in Louisville. Um, I have all my friends and family are from here. They may not know what the Breeders' Cup Classic is, but they know what the Kentucky Oaks is. And, you know, if we were able to win that, they'd look at me like a rock star. So I, I think the filly is training so incredibly well. She, she looks great, her coat's great. She seems happier than ever. And I know we're ready, so it's, I'm sure I'm gonna be extremely nervous the morning of, but uh, right now I'm just trying to enjoy the ride.